Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Carmine from New York, professional photographer since 1973 here in the Big Apple, New York City. This is photo class number 315. What will we discuss today? Something that I received two emails on in the last few months and I didn't address them properly here on my YouTube channel. And those questions were, hey, Carmine, what are your favorite accessories in photography? I Over the 315 videos uh, on my photography channel, I'm sure I've touched on them here and there, but I never put them all together. All right, first, very important, subscribe to my channel right now, please. Hit the thumbs up button, comment below, this is all part of the algorithms which helps this channel grow and keeps me motivated to produce more videos to help you become a better, a better photographer. Okay, now, number one, none of the items I'm about to show you are sponsored. I bought all these accessories that you're about to see. The places that I buy them, there's no links that sends me money. No, I'm just going to show you the accessory. I'll show you where I get it. These are all cheap items. There's nothing expensive, but they make a world of difference in your photography. Let's jump right into it. My number one accessory that's been in a big percentage of my videos is this, the pop-up flash diffuser. On cameras, for example, like this Nikon D700 that has a pop-up flash, it slips into the hot shoe, and now you have a beautiful diffused flash. This is probably my number one accessory that's been in my videos. Very inexpensive, under 10 bucks, but makes the world of difference in your flash photography. It lets you use your pop-up flash to give soft light, none of those harsh shadows. Okay, let's move on. Another accessory that you don't even really think about is lens cleaner. I use Zeiss lens cleaner. Now, these are pretty ex inexpensive but it makes the world of difference when you're trying to clean your lenses, your front and rear elements. Uh, I spray it on a, a microfiber cloth and I clean the back LCD screens and it's just a wonderful product. Zeiss Lens Cleaner. Okay, let's move right along. So we all use SD cards, CF cards, and sometimes without even thinking, you could misplace them because they're very small. They're the size of stamps, for goodness sakes. So there's wallets and there's little, those little tiny cases. They can get lost. This is how a professional keeps them. These are inexpensive plastic cases. This one holds all SD cards. This one holds CF cards. They hold a lot of them. And because they're clear and see-through, if you're looking for a specific size, you can see it right through. But I highly recommend these plastic cases to hold your memory cards. When you start to accumulate tons of memory cards, you need something like this. Those binders are fine, except when you turn the binder upside down, it's a good chance of losing them, okay? Right here, these plastic cases, very inexpensive. Another use of those plastic cases I just showed you are for your filters, okay? I always tell all of the people that watch my videos, you have to put a UV filter made by Hoya or k &F on every single lens because it protects your front element. But we never really discuss how do I store them, all right? These hold, uh, these plastic cases, the same as for the memory cards. It's a layer of uh, the thin foam. I lay down three or four filters, another layer of foam, and it's a wonderful way 
to hold. This one holds 15 filters. Instead of keeping them in those plastic cases, okay, the individual cases, here is a way I could take this whole thing and just put it away and pull it out, and I have all the filters that I need in one place, okay? Very good idea. Let's keep moving along. Something that we all know about is dust and our lenses and our cameras, okay? So the next few items is all about dust. Now, the Gitos, however you pronounce it, these rocket blowers, they're really great. They take no batteries. It's just your muscle that uses to, to blow it away. These are excellent. Highly recommended. You must have it. Now, there's some other ones that are cheaper, but the problem is the volume of air that those put out is weak compared to these. This is a pretty strong gust of air, all right? The rocket blower. Now, when I'm cleaning many cameras or I'm, I'm doing a job that just requires so much air, I do not use those cans of air, those compressed cans of air. They're an environmental nightmare. If you read what comes out of those cans of compressed air, it's Freon. It kills the ozone layer. Many years ago, I stopped using them and I picked up this. This is the Opolar rechargeable air blower. This is so strong, it's incredible. When you want to spend all day cleaning your gear, even for your keyboard, stuff like that for your computers, this is the way to go. It charges real quick, okay? It comes with the USB cord, all right? It charges quickly. It comes with a few different nozzles on the front. I just keep this one on because it works the best. It tapers down to a point. Very powerful. This, I've been using this one for years, and it's probably saved me 10 cases of those canned compressed air, okay? Which are bad for the environment. Let's keep going. Dust again. Now, this I have to, this next item, I have to hand it to my wife. I saw her using uh, these cosmetic brushes, okay? Ultra, ultra soft. Okay? This is not made for the photographer. This is made for people that wear makeup. So I did not use her used one full of makeup. I picked up a brand new one. Yeah, this is the color they come in. I don't really care. All right. But look at the amount of fluff on here. When you want to clean your cameras, which you should do monthly, okay, just back and forth like this, it gets into all of those places that you can't get to with your microfiber cloth. Highly recommended makeup brush, but a big one. Not the little tiny one, okay? This one, see, I'll put my finger here for reference. Pretty big and very fluffy. And to clean this, you have to clean this because now it's got dust on it. What do I use? I'll use the rocket blower to blow the dust off and or the Opolar. And that's how I clean it. Okay, let's move along. Very important to have in your accessory shelf for photography is a set of small screwdrivers. Believe it or not, as your cameras get used and as you bang them around, you're going to have loose screws. It's very rare, but it will happen either on the back of the lens. Okay. There, this is a Nikkor 85 millimeter. There are certain screws on the back, okay? It's only happened once or twice to me where I've realized that the screw is loose and I had to tighten it up because camera manufacturers, they might put something called Loctite, which is a drop of a special, it's not a glue, it's a thing that keeps screws tight, all right? But it does happen, especially on things like your battery grip, okay? So very important. Uh, six piece 
precision screwdriver set. These are, I don't know, these are also under 10 bucks. Okay. Phillips and flathead. Very important. All right, let's keep going. While I have my D700 in my hand, I've been asked many times, what kind of straps, strap connectors do I use? All right. A lot of guys use those red cap ones. All right. I don't. I use these. Show you where I get them from uh, on Amazon. All right. But here's why I love these. Number one, very, very strong. Okay. And with this, I can use it with a wrist strap. Okay. It comes with the connector. So I can just snap it on here and use it as a wrist strap or I can put it on a neck strap. Okay. With the same type of connector and just click it on. Very versatile, very, very strong. And that's what you want. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, very inexpensive loops. Okay. Magnifying loops. Very important. Why? After you clean your lens, you want to use a loop and look at the elements to make sure you've got all the dirt off and all the little fibers from the cotton swabs. A set of five of these, they, they're different magnifications, very inexpensive. They're plastic. Even the lenses, the magnifiers are plastic. That keeps the price down. And they're built to go in your eye like this. So you can have two hands free and you can work on your lens and camera. Okay, let's keep going. Now I held up microfiber cloths, okay? I buy them, they're sets of twos. And I buy them about 20 at a time. Because believe it or not, when you clean your cameras and lenses with the microfiber cloth, the dirt has to go somewhere and they collect on here and you don't want to keep reusing it. I ran into trouble following somebody on YouTube that says, oh, just wash these. No, do not wash your microfiber lens cloths. It's only going to collect the soap the detergent, the fabric softener on here, and now you apply it to your lens and it makes a smear, okay? Use them, dispose of them, use fresh ones. Don't be afraid to throw these out every once in a while and get fresh ones. Don't wash them, okay? Let's keep going. Something you must have in your accessories is 99% alcohol. Okay. Uh, isopropyl alcohol. This is 99%. What does that mean? That means that there's only 1% water in here. That's there's different variations of isopropyl alcohol, right? I, I don't know what the lowest is, but this is the, the highest I've been able to purchase is 99%. What do I use this for? Cleaning stubborn uh, problems on my camera bodies and even on my lenses. Okay. Now be careful when you use alcohol on your lenses, it may remove the multi coating, but this is only an emergency when you have a problem with a lens that there's something on it that you can't get off such as glue. It happens. Okay. When I'm doing product photography and I'm trying to set up a scene and I don't even realize I have glue I'm not talking about, you know, like water-based glue, some industrial glues, and you might have to use alcohol to get it off. Okay. Uh, very important product. Uh, sometimes you'll buy a lens. Okay. And that little, um, sticker, especially on an icon lens, the glue they use on that is some crazy wild glue that when that little yellow sticker falls off, the only way to get the glue off is with 99% isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Hi guys. One last item I did forget to mention as far as my top accessories for photography are these little Lytra portable rechargeable lights. These are incredible. I always have one of these in my pocket. Look at how small these are. Now, this is what I do when I need to fill in any kind of lighting scenario. Okay, whether it's for macro shot or even a, a quick portrait, I could pull this out in my hand 
It fits in my hand. It's color balance. You can change the color temperature, right? From cold to warm. And it's fantastic for macro. If I'm taking macro shots, I just turn it on. Okay, it has power level adjustments from low to high, as well as uh, the color balance. This should have been mentioned in my main video, but I overlooked it. And I couldn't produce a video about accessories without mentioning the Lytra handheld rechargeable lights. Not a sponsor. Okay. Uh, that is it. Those are my absolute favorite accessories. I hope you've enjoyed it. Kame from New York saying goodbye.